So this video here you is for you. Obviously, full moon full stop is the topic, the stop. I want to personally invite you to look at your calendar, take some paper and take a little moment to follow this video and plan for the next full moon uh, full stop maybe. So what is the full moon full stop? The full moon full stop is a tool, uh, a change making tool based on the stop abbreviation. I will explain it. There's also a tutorial. Um, and it's something that you do month after month after month. Every full moon, um, it's not really a random choice to pick the full moon for it. I'm, I took the full moon as a marker because we can see it coming. It's independent, um, it's neutral, it doesn't have anything to do with religions or time zones or hemispheres or poor, rich, whatever. It's a very neutral thing. It gives us a rhythm, the natural rhythm of the moons. <coughs> The rest of nature is living with it. I think we could too. It's at least to me, it feels really good to have this, let's say monthly awareness. And this tool is there for everyone who is looking for solutions to save their lives, to take care of their lives and make sure to survive, not only as individuals, but also as a species. Um, and in these times where we understand our impact as a species, um, that is not only climate change, it is also, and I think that is probably even more dramatic, is um, the extinction of species, the loss of biodiversity, the loss of habitats. And very often it feels like, yes, we know that we are responsible for this, but we don't know what we can do and how to get out of this. Um, we might feel powerless, we might feel paralyzed, we might feel, um, I don't know, meaningless. Um, and there is so many ways to change things and it's overwhelming. And at the same time, it's often the things that we know we should be doing or could be doing are contradicting what is advertised, what is still legal, what is still considered as normal by some. So. It's not that easy and also accepting solutions that somebody provides to you gives you and says like hey you should do this and that or uh, from now on we will tax this and this behavior more than other behaviors like these are kind of pressure tools putting pressure on ourselves that we might not feel um, that we want to do them or we might not even be able to do them right there are things that we simply cannot do um, a lot of these measures that are implemented by politics uh, and laws are um, not not equal right they they affect some more than others and some in a good way and some not at all and some in a bad way so this full moon full stop is a tool that gives you solutions that work for you solutions that you find yourself it's like a tailor making tool so um and that from month to month so it's um S is to, to sit down, right? Stop what you're doing. Um, and it doesn't actually mean to have a day off because it's actually a, a proper day of work. Uh, in some cases, like I have been doing full moon full stops that lasted three days. I've been doing full moon full stops that lasted 10 minutes. Um, but it really is good to keep this pattern up. I, I've, at least for me, I feel this benefit is tremendous. Um, and the beauty is, is like really, it helps you finding solutions that work for you. So S is to sit down, stop what you're doing, right? If we would just imagine the world to do the full moon full stop. And this is what my, I've, I'm kind of on a mission for this, trying to get as many people excited as possible to try this full moon full stop until at some point our world is stopping once a month, more or less. Um, so as is to stop, right? If we are in a crisis or survival situation, or if we feel panic coming up, not knowing what to do, um, doing something, um, what we have no clue if it will help or continuing what we're doing, that might be really the worst things we can do. So just stopping what we're doing can be really helpful. Yeah, so stop just for this day as, or, or the time that you have 
but be prepared that it might take more time than you originally planned. So my invitation, look at your calendar, check the next full moon and plan to stop somewhere around that day. It doesn't need to be on that day, but around this day and take someone with you, right? Someone who you have in your daily life, ideally. Uh, it might be a neighbor, it might be co-workers, uh, might be family members. <clears throat> and if you come to this stop tool through the week, perfect, then you already have a group, I guess. Yeah. So the next letter is T, to think. Yeah. Think about your situation. What is your situation? Yeah. What are your priorities? Do you actually have a survival situation or not? Are your survival priorities, your six survival priorities, food, water, uh, food, water, shelter, health, community and air, are they covered in a sufficiently sustainable manner so that it can continue, so that your children can safely copy paste them or other people's children? Yeah. So what is your situation? Um, what are your priorities? And what is in for me it's always also looking at what is the shared common ground? Yeah, what is the reality that I feel we all share? Because even though the stop tool is meant to help me finding solutions for my own life, I cannot deny that I'm connected with the world. Whatever I do or not do affects the world. Everything I do affects the future of life forever, right? Um, so we are connected with the world. We need to think also our place in this world and how, what our actions and, and or maybe lack of actions, uh, what impact it has on the world. So kind of get an understanding of the situation, the reality. Um, figure out kind of maybe what is your main problem? What is maybe, if you, if you look at the six survival priorities, what are the two where you feel like, oh, I need to really focus on that? Let, could it be health? Could it be the air quality that you breathe? Could it be um, the water source that you rely on that you don't want to rely on? Or could it be um, the community that you are missing? Yeah. Um, I personally always have community as one of my top priorities and I usually choose one more than yeah. so um, in the current full moon full stop plan plan is T um, my plan is actually um, to, to also look at efficiency in general yeah. um, uh, which is not a priority but efficiency in general <coughs> it also matters the next letter is O observe, orientate, what are the options, what opportunities we have, what is already good, what can we, oh, did I forget? T is not just to think, it's also to thank, of course. Whew, still alive, so good, yeah, I can still stop, <laughs> yeah, so because the gratitude, thanking, gratitude opens the mind to positive thinking and we need to be positive to actually have better chances getting out of this alive, yeah, so and why not brew a cup of tea? Because tea is something that, you know, create an environment where you can actually think. So what are the options and opportunities? Um, copy paste solutions from around the world. My favorites are probably sharing and free economy and low tech and do it yourself. Um, there are so many opportunities, so many things we can copy paste. Um, we have so many options and what options do you have? What is already good? What can continue? What do you think like, hmm, maybe I, I have a look at what is over there, right? Look at different journeys. And P eventually is the result of T and O. It's the plan, making a plan for the next month. Um, it can be mostly a direction. It doesn't need to be a very defined journey or direction uh, uh, um, like a way but it's it's important to to have the direction straight for me the direction is always the well-being of life in all its diversity simply because my life depends on it right it's a I don't know is it a selfish thing or a egocentric thing I don't know but it's to me it's just very um, plausible that I am because and for life in all its diversity. So I always have that in my plan to obviously serve the well-being and uh, serve the survival of our species through that and my own survival uh, maybe also. Yeah. 
So the P is to make the plan for the month. And that can be a direction. It can be like next month I want to meet two new neighbors that I have not met before. Or next month I want to um, um, stop doing this. Like uh, next month I try to build my life around bicycle distance and bicycle speed. And just see how it goes. Just testing it for months, testing little ideas for months. Uh, it can be many things. It can be like let's let's um, be be vegan or vegetarian for a month, or let's um, let's not buy new stuff for a month, yeah, and see what you're missing. Okay, so um, plan can be many things, especially in community. If you make the full moon full stop together with a group of people, with your co-workers or something, the plan can be many things. Um, and it's, I find it usually good to write something down because it's a reminder for me uh, to write something down and, and it kind of um, strengthens my personal commitment. Um, P, also very important, choose positive, right? We know that to survive a survival situation, if we are optimistic, we have better chances even though the odds are the same. Yeah, so being optimistic and it's more fun. Even if it doesn't work out, at least we have had a good time. Um, so choose positive, um, doesn't hurt, um, usually helps. And it's, it's helpful. I think it's very helpful. It, at least when I look back at a couple of years of doing full moon, full stop, it's very helpful. Um, and then last but not least, party, right? Celebrate, celebrate the achievements you made in the last month, um, celebrate your new plan and um, then look forward to the next full moon full stop so i don't want to challenge anyone um, if you are and i'm going to post this video on linkedin um, take a look at this it's a really good tool um, give it a try and let me know what you think and just for me, the feeling that I already know now that there are people in greetings, uh, Austria, Norway, Germany, Denmark, Finland, um, Netherlands, who are doing the full moon, full stop Greece. So there are a couple of people already and it's, I, I feel that it's spreading. Um, it doesn't matter how popular the tool is. For me, it matters that you get out of it what you can get out of it. And it's really helpful. The STOP actually is designed for dealing with crisis and survival situation, the STOP abbreviation. Uh, and the full moon full STOP is like a little bit of a, let's say, an extended version of it, uh, which um, is, is set into, into our current situation, our world. Um, thank you. Safe journeys to you and yeah, give it a try. Let me know what you think and please feel free to share this. Hey, though.